Welcome back to Asleep at the Wheels Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. This is episode 38. In this episode, we're going to do the side quest, A Friend Indeed. So we'll bring up our quest list here and make sure that's the active quest right there, A Friend Indeed. And I believe this will send us off to um, Hogsmeade, where we will meet the proprietor of the three broomsticks so uh, we can uh, fast travel to right here. All right, there is the three broomsticks right in front of us. I didn't really need that uh, golden compass trail. <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. All right, here we go. Glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest... I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioneer. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. All right, we are off to Upper Hogsfield. To continue the quest, we'll find our uh, quest NPC up there. Just, uh, just a little ways north up here. Right about, not there, there. Go on, let me select that. Really, you're not gonna let me select that. Um, okay, uh, there. All right. <laughs> All right, we have arrived, Upper Hogsfield. Well, actually not, it's, uh, but it is close by. So I guess we'll just uh, hop on the broom and head on over there. About 300 meters away where that uh, tower is up there. Looks beautiful in the winter here, all the snow. I'm lucky I don't get any snow where I live. Thank goodness, I live through snow. Dangerous stuff. Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Bottle? And here is our quest NPC. 
Shane Vardoff thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Dear Serona, a gem, has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. All right, well, apparently I accidentally uh, updated or started uh, another side quest called uh, Brother's Keeper. 
That's currently the active quest, so we're going to set a friend indeed to be the active quest. We'll do uh, Brother's Keeper after we're finished with this quest. But uh, let's get this one rolling first. I think our uh, quest goal here, our next stop, is uh, pretty close by. Yeah, it's right over here. Not too far away. Yet another hole in the ground. It's a bandit camp below us, one I cleared out. This must be the cavern Mrs. Brussel mentioned. Pork lump juice, I have a ton of that. Oh, some coinage. All right, here we go. Lead the hawk lumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Zorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more. Better have a look around. See about the hawk lumps and the box of letters. Okay, looks like dead weeds. Incendio. Now they're burnt dead weeds. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. And what do we got here? Oh, the fish in the water is kind of cool. <laughs> uh, ah, we can knock down that wall. But not with that. There we go. Fringo will do it. Looks like there's a couple of chests in here. And here we go. Oh, these are those weeds that do damage. I'm trying to move, but it's really hard to move. Try and get off of these guys. I'm gonna need Lumos. Quick heal. I'll need Lumos. So let's uh, see, do we have Lumos up? No, we do not. I don't want to viz. <laughs> All right, where's Lumos? Right there. We'll set it right there. There we go. Now they're backing off. That's right. Back off. You evil plant. And we can click that. A gear downgrade. Always good to have. And another gear downgrade. Awesome. All right. Back to my battle spells. I have no idea what I'm going to run into in here. She's caves are full of spiders or goblins. One of the two. Hop that. My mother would like to speak with hmm. me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Good for you. Okay, hop down here. So I guess we gotta meet with Natty and her mom back at uh, Hogwarts. Oh, here's a slide. Slides always take you into some area where there is an enemy or multiple enemies. Here we go. Oh, it's a troll. Either I'll have to fight that troll or we all together. Boom, a little maximum potion so we can take him out quickly. Boom, done. Should think they felt that in London. <laughs> I have more horror club juice. Not that I need it, but uh, all right, we Rebellion. we slid down here, so that means that. Uh, we can't go out the way we came in. So we'll never make it up that slide. Can't go out that way. Right. There's a... Oh. Get the troll snot. Ah, this looks promising. Yep. There we go. More horde clump juice. Squirrels or something there. I don't know what those are. Oh, what are these? Ah, dear Serona. So these are these have got to be the letters that she wanted me to pick up. This must be Serona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Serona. I think that's everything. I should take this box of letters to Serona, like the quest told me to do. Chief. Oh, 
All right. I'm going to head back to uh, Hogsmeade, find Serona, wrap up this quest. Get back to the three broomsticks where we belong. All right, there it is right in front of us. Here we go. Taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times. Put it mildly. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Brottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Alright, we're going to finish up that next quest we accidentally triggered over in Upper Hogsfield. Brother's Keeper. Bardoff allegedly practiced dark magic, blah, blah, blah. All right, so uh, the quest destination is not far from uh, Upper Hogsfield. It's over here, right next to this. The last patch to the game made the... Uh, Fast travel spots stop spamming that stupid stuff constantly over and over. They still got some NPCs doing that, but uh, at least they fixed that one. It's so annoying. So I'm grateful they listened to the players who I, I know I wasn't the only one complaining about that. All right, we got a couple of enemies over here. I don't think they're related to the quest, no. Um, they just. Happen to be here. Too bad for them. One of you. What do you think you're doing? He saw me. Okay. Let's get the right spell set up. <laughs> Come on, give me a crit. That's better. You'll pay for that. Levioso. Yeah, your Levioso didn't quite work for you there. God, stop hiding behind these blocks. Come on, let me hit you. Ugh. A little bit of a curse. And a little defendo takes care of that. All right, our actual goal, we can see on the mini-map there with that purple outline. That's where we need to look for... Uh, Barred off. 
All right. Inferious lovely. Hmm. They're all spread out. And they're not really moving around. I bet I could stealth all of these guys. Yeah. All right, let me go around this way. Another enemy down there. Probably a giant toad. All right, let's get up here. Yeah, I think we can stealth this whole lot of these dudes. Get this guy over here first as I knock things over. Somebody almost saw me. I saw a little flicker there. Somebody almost sees me. Get over here. Now he stopped seeing me. There we go. Take this guy out. Bing. Oh, a couple more spawning. Oh. Quite a few spawning. Nice. All right, we got the quest item. Let's finish off these last couple here. Good night, sweet prince. Well, that was two of them. <laughs> and we got another one right here, and boom. And that's it. All right, we were able to stealth that whole thing. Love that. Revelio. Revelios. All right, we got a chest here. Unidentified downgrade. Huh? Might be a uh, beast sanctuary here as well. Don't need that. All right, I think that's it. We can uh, head back to North Hogsfield and uh, let the quest NPC know that uh, their loved one is dead from my hand. All right, here we go. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badov? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badov had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Badov? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madam Bubbled. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, bad off. Well, that was pretty sad. I feel sorry for her. Bad off. My dear, dear brother. All right. That wraps up these two side quests. I will wrap up the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please click like. That helps other folks on YouTube find it. And until the next video, have fun. Don't take life too seriously. It's pretty short. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye until then.